before, uh, I've been to, uh, in St. Louis for six years. Before coming here, I lived in New York City for sure. Is there a an attorney. Uh, this is about New York. Thank you. Cool. Maybe I better sit back here. <laughs> no, no, 
no, it's totally safe. I, I don't spit or anything. Um, so the yeah, the, the story with this song about the muse, um, I wrote it in an hour because we had to write it in an hour. And uh, there were about 10 or 12 of us, and the jumping off point was, um, I love what you've done with this place. Was was the beginning, or at least the, the jumping off point for the song. A bunch of us wrote it up in the mountains in Yosemite. Um, and this was not too long after the, the Shanghai earthquake, and uh, you know, which I think was in 2008. And NPR had all of their best reporters in China for the Olympics already, and then the earthquake strikes, and you've got like Michelle Norris and all these people like interviewing um, the you know the, the locals who were all speaking Chinese, but it was still gut wrenching to hear you know the, these moms looking for their children and I'm, I'm like driving home from work crying. And I can't do this anymore. The news is just too depressing. And I want to write this. When he comes back, I think I'll play real cool. Say something like, hey Jesus, I love what you've done to this place. He'll roll his eyes the way that only he can. Say this is not the time or place for jokes. People ask themselves what they think I do. They think I drive to work. They don't ask themselves who my boss would be, what my job would be. Did I burn my raise this year? And then he looked at me real serious. He said, Just tell me how you make it through the day. And I'd say, Praise the devil, fear no God, and I don't watch the news. Looked real mad, looked like he was gonna swim, looked like he was gonna spit at the sky. He collected himself, paid the bill, left a tip, left enough to make the waitress smile. He said, Listen close, I'll tell you what you gotta do. And as he spoke, a train went rattling by. Now I'll never know exactly what he said. I just try each day to do a decent thing or two. So when he looks at me real serious and says, Just tell me how you make it through the day, I'll say, Praise no devil, fear no God, I don't watch the news. Something a little more upbeat. Um, let's see. So, Andrew's just had a kid, which is pretty awesome. Um, <laughs> his second. Thank you. He's helping the, the world by bringing up decent children. Uh, this song is written from the perspective of a seven month old fetus. That always gets the crowd. You can always see the cringes of people. But it's, it's going to be okay, I promise. I will rule your world From the treehouse in the back You forget about the things you used to do for fun on Saturdays And take me to the zoo When I say go You'll go anywhere I like Cause you can't imagine living That living means that you can never see me smile again Eyes that 
remind you of your last girlfriend. I will rule your world with the tiniest kiss. Kind of makes you promise that your love won't end. Promise that your love won't end. I will rule your world. Thanks. Ukraine, my family moved to Chicago when I was seven. Um, did, did some crazy stuff. My, my first Halloween, I don't think my dad really understood. He, he sent me to school as Puss in Boots. He like, just stuck a tail on me, put me in my winter boots. <laughs> that did not go over very well. I think there's actually a picture of it somewhere. He was so proud. He thought it was awesome. He took a picture. Um, I, I don't know where that picture is. We've got to find it and put it on my blog or something. <clears throat> so this is uh, this is my humor song. My parents came from the land of ice and snow. They came forty cents. Settled down in Chicago in a foreign place in Rogers Park. Listen so long. Teacher said for Halloween you can dress up like our favorite heroes. I was the only kid in the second grade who looked like Joseph Stalin that day. Teacher asked me why I did. I looked up and I admit I'm an immigrant. I didn't know. The second verse is the truest and saddest verse in the song. In college, I tried flirting with an older girl named Julie Bevan. This is terrible. Um, it, it's all right. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll just we'll skip to the to the the, the, the pre ramp. Um, one day after chemistry, she invited me upstairs for coffee. Told her I don't drink that stuff, and I sat on my bike and rode away.
Thank you very much. You know what, guys?